the night. The premiere of Oprah's Big Give is right now. What would you do if someone handed you a bundle of money? But there's a twist. You have to give all that money away. We challenge 10 people to go across the country and try to outgive each other. No! They left their families behind and never once asked what was in it for them. Their mission? Make dreams come true. I'm still in total shock. And show the world what one person can do. What they don't know is at the end, I'm going to surprise the winner with one million dollars. <laughs> this is the big gift. We searched coast to coast to find our 10 Big Give contestants. Word spread fast about my new show. Even with no mention of a prize, thousands turned out. I'm like number 222. From all walks of life. I grew up in Nigeria for most of my life. I was born in Guyana, South America. I am the president of my own company. I led soldiers in Iraq. I am a campus minister. I can pull this off. I'm determined. I'm just a married guy with three kids. And each came with their own personal reasons to give back. I've been selfish, and I've not always been the best friend, the best wife. I have a hole in my heart that was supposed to close at birth. When I was 13, I was diagnosed with scoliosis. I was the only girl in the gang because that was my way of survival. After weeks and weeks of intense auditions, the final 10 were chosen, and I got to deliver the good news myself. Kim Brennis. Hello, I'm I speak with Kim, please? This is Kim. Kim, this is Oprah Winfrey. Oh my God! Is this really? Bad? Yes, it really is. And I'm calling you to tell you oh that. Oh, my God! Oh! Are you serious? OK, sorry. <laughs> Welcome to the big give. I can't even believe this. I've lived most of my life for me, and I'm looking at 40. I don't have kids. There's a few things you can do when you go through that midlife crisis. You can either get a boob job, get Botox, or truly turn your life around. What I hope to achieve is what it feels like to really give instead of take. Hello, this is Cameron. This is Oprah Winfrey calling. Oh, my gosh. I started my first business when I was nine years old. I made my first million dollars before I graduated high school. All my life, I succeeded because no one told me no. Do you think you can win? I know I can. Hello, Brandy. This is Oprah. What? I'm currently a title holder in the Miss America organization. As a pageant contestant, I have faced some competitors. I've had my dress cut up. I've had girls sabotage my efforts to win. Because I've already dealt with the dirtiest of the dirty competitions, this is going to be easy for me. I'm always volunteering, and I want to prove you can give back and be young. Welcome to the big gift. My name is Angelo. I have a wife and two kids. In the Army, I was a captain. I also led 126 soldiers in Iraq as the forward commander. That's why I'm going to win this competition, because guess what, baby? I have a plan. It's Oprah Winfrey calling. How are you? Hi, Oprah! Hey, Mom! Oprah on the phone! <laughs> Mama! You're in! I give because I love to see people happy. I like that little bunny rabbit that hits the little thing. I keep going and going. I'm a competitor. I'm a go-getter. I can eat snakes if I want to. Hi, Eric. It's Oprah. Oprah, how are you? So I called to welcome you as one of our uh, big givers. Wow. I got to tell you, I really, really appreciate it. In 2004, a buddy and I were hit by a drunk driver. As a result of the accident, I had cracked my eye socket and was scheduled to have surgery. I used the money that I got for the surgery to go to Sri Lanka after the tsunami. I want to show people how easy it is to actually help other people. Hey, baby, welcome to the big gift. Wait a second. I am from Los Angeles, California. Was born in the ghetto of Brooklyn, New York. I experienced sexual abuse and physical abuse. The big gift will enable me to be a part of the healing process. I'm absolutely going to win the big gift because I'm strong. I'm a survivor and I'm driven. Hi, Steven. This is Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> You're kidding me. I have been very blessed with a lot of success. I've started a number of ventures that are trying to help children in both Africa and in the inner city. Being part of this show is certainly a once-in-a-lifetime experience. And if it wasn't, I would never think about leaving my family for such a long time. We've been through thousands of prospective big givers, and we decided you're one of them. Wow, amazing. This might be a chance for me to, to make a difference. I was born in Nigeria. Well, now I live in Nashville, Tennessee. I have a wonderful wife and a beautiful daughter. I have a master's in applied molecular biology. I hope 
to get into medical school. Welcome to the big give. <laughs> In a moment of bad judgment, I got into the car with a drunk driver. In an instant, I went from cheerleader to paraplegic. The wheelchair was never the biggest obstacle. The biggest obstacle, those looks of pity. The fact that I have such a high tolerance for pain makes me that stronger of a fighter. Oprah, I'm gonna make you proud, darling. Wonderful. I'll see you soon. The 10 hand-selected contestants from across the USA are just landing in Los Angeles to kick off the big gig. Here, now, it's all about the start of the big give. This is a show designed after my own heart. The biggest giver becomes the biggest winner. Each week, we're gonna hand out fistfuls of cash. With time ticking, you will then be challenged to change the lives of complete strangers in the most dramatic of ways. Do not let them down. Tonight, 10 of you will start on this really thrilling adventure, but in the end, only one of you will be the biggest giver. Who will help us decide? Three people filled with the big give spirit. The one and only Jamie Oliver, also known as the Naked Chef, is passionate about making the world a better place. We're looking for the next everyday hero, someone that can inspire us all. Malak Compton Rock, mother of two, wife of the talented Chris Rock, is determined to stand up and help wherever she can. Who will be able to make big dreams come true and wow us with their creativity? Tony Gonzalez, touchdown! Football star Tony Gonzalez knows the rush of giving back. It's his way of life. Competition always fires people up to give it their all. I'm gonna be looking for leadership and teamwork. Welcome, Jamie, Malak, and Tony. <laughs> We're gonna be watching your every move. And to help us do that, Nate Burkus will be our eyes and ears as all of you crisscross the country. Nate Burkus! <laughs> Who knew you were this popular? Who knew? <laughs> what he's holding right now is your very first challenge! <laughs> Nate, the envelopes, please. Yeah. Okay, I have a sealed envelope here for each of you, and inside you will find a picture, a name, $2,500, and one clue to get started. So, pick an envelope. Pick an yes, envelope. You envelope. You can open them. $2,500 cash. Look closely at the photographs. Those are faces of people who desperately need you. I want you to hold up your picture. Look around and then go stand next to the person who has the same photo as you. Does anyone have Karen? Karen? Is there anyone else? Eric. We got the we same got guy. That is your teammate for this challenge. <laughs> and at the end of five days, you will all meet at the Big Give headquarters yeah. to face the Big Give team. You either give big or you go home. OK, your cars are now standing by. Your first challenge starts now. It was crazy. We get one simple clue, a picture, and five days to go change someone's life. We're going to meet a lady by the name of AJ who was recently widowed. She has two kids, three years old. They're twins. We're going to go see how we can help her out. All right, man. Let's do this. AJ? AJ, how are you? How are you? How are you? You've been selected as part of uh, what's called the Big Give. We heard that some things have happened in your life that we'd love to talk to you a little bit about, but we want to know how we might be able to help you out. I was really happy to get this challenge because I've got three little girls. Well, who are these pretty girls? Hi. Can you say your name? Katie. Katie? Yeah. Katie. What's your name? Sure. You're the sure. <laughs> My husband, Tom, works at the night shift at Home Depot, and his best friend from work called and said Tom's been shot. The search is on for two suspects linked to the deadly shooting of a store manager. They first approached the cashier, then the assistant manager, Tom Egan. And without provocation, the robbery suspect shot that individual. I remember just sitting there thinking, I can't believe I'm going through this. Please just wake up. The doctor came in. It's kind of like what you hear on TV. You know, we did everything we could, but we couldn't save him. And at that 
point, I was just shocked. And it was really hard to think that he was gone. And the whole time I kept thinking, what am I going to tell my daughters? It's hard losing your best friend and your soulmate. <laughs> it's hard to think of the future. And I'm worried. I'm concerned with college. Another concern is my house. And I can't imagine explaining to the girls, well, you know, we don't have a daddy, so therefore, we have to sell our house. How long ago was this? It was like six weeks ago. Yeah. So it's pretty new. Oh my husband was trying to protect his employees. I don't know if it's the military training in him, but that was just who yeah. he was. He was yeah. just an awesome person who always did the right thing. <laughs> wow, that's really getting tall. My husband and I had a lot of dreams. This was actually our dream house. We had a dream that we were going to retire here and have it all paid off in 30 years. And I would love to be able to keep my house. Eric and I have realized that AJ's future really is lying in our hands. It's hard to believe that we only have five days to raise all this money to help her pay off her mortgage. If she loses this house, she loses the entire support system that is really carrying her through this incredibly difficult time. We're going to do everything we can to make sure that this Egan family is going to live in their neighborhood for as long as they want. I think it's going to tumble. Yeah! <laughs> We're heading to see Carl. He's a Marine. Uh, that means Army in Iraq. He is so cute. Where are we supposed to go? Right out of the gate. And we kind of got lost. We didn't make a U-turn so to go back the other way. See, that point See, because we were right, we need to turn back left. Right. OK. Well, what should I tell you? She's a single mother of two, and she's, she's struggling, struggling for her That's basic it. needs in life. I wonder what kind of place she's living in. This week is going to be huge for us. We have to do it big. Right now. Woo! Hey, Shantae, awesome. I'm Angelo. Hi, Angelo. Hi. We're here with the Big Give, and we just want to talk to you. My name is Shantae McVeigh. I'm 34 years of age. I'm a single mother of a 16-year-old son and a 13-year-old daughter, and I'm homeless. I've been homeless now for one year. I was going through a bad experience of domestic violence, and the landlords asked me to leave. Nobody knows that we're homeless. I don't want them looking at us like, okay, you didn't make it. Hitting rock bottom, sleeping on the streets, that was my lowest point. And having my children on Skid Row, it really made me feel like I wasn't doing what I had to do as a mom. It has been really hard for me and my family where I'm struggling. I just need stability for my children. I don't need a handout. I need a stepping stone, something to help me get on my feet. Life hasn't been easy. I still try to keep my head up. I want a home so my children will never be homeless, you know? If I can wish for anything right now, I wish at home that I could give my mom a nice house somewhere and have a good family. Shantae doesn't have a house. She doesn't have the proper transportation. She needs educational paths set aside for her kids. We have five days left. That's a huge task for us. I'm kind of overwhelmed because all we're given is the picture of Karen and directions. Our only clue is that she helps adults in need and that she is a loving mother. We're from the Big Give. You're a good hugger. That is great. Thank you. First of all, tell me what you do. I've been a care provider for the last 25 years now wow. and take care of people with disabilities. My name is Karen Newman. 27 years ago, I gave birth to my son who was born with Down syndrome. I was so afraid. I didn't know what to do because the doctor said, you should put him in an institution. But I saw this beautiful, beautiful baby. I just wanted to bring them home and just love them. People with disabilities need to have interaction with their peers, so I decided to start High Hopes, a social recreation program. We started with 20 participants, but we've expanded them so much that we just don't have enough room anymore. They need keyboards and guitars and drum sets, and I need a building so that we can have all of that under one roof. Drum in a cell! It just means a lot for people to take the time to consider that people with disabilities are worth it. You guys all want to say thank you? I want another hug. Yeah, <laughs> thank I you. Do. Good hug. Come on in. This is a big dream, and we have only a few days ahead of us. Brandy and I, at this point, know that our work's cut out for us. Ready? Yes.
I'm excited to meet this guy. He doctor. looks like he's a doctor. All right, here we go, babe. We're about to go inside and meet Eric Jackson. And there's a reason that we're here today, and I'm going to go in and find out what it is. Hey, how are you? My name is Shag. Hi, and I'm Carolina. Carolina. We're with the Big Gift. We're with the Big Gift. My name is Eric Jackson. I grew up in South Central Los Angeles. I'm about to graduate from the UCLA School of Medicine as an MD. He has beaten the odds. I'm amazed. Growing up in South Central Los Angeles is no easy task. I've seen people being shot at, people being attacked. It's violent. Having positive role models around is crucial for the success of the kids from this area. My passion is to be someone the kids can look at and say, hey, I wouldn't mind having some of those qualities that he has. With my newly acquired skills in medicine and plastic surgery, I will be able to work with children correcting physical deformities. I have about $206,000 in student loans. The quicker I'm able to pay those off, the sooner I'm able to volunteer my time and work with these kids free of charge. High five. Helping kids is living a dream come true. Eric was just a force to be reckoned with. He's got a huge college loan to pay off for medical school, over $200,000. It's going to be incredibly challenging over the next five days to do what this guy deserves. First day, my worst nightmare you know is getting what? lost. Make sure that we're in the right direction. Anytime you have a good idea, just tell me. We wasted the whole day. Hi, I'm from The Big Give, and I need some direction. We got lost and turned around, and I really got frustrated. It was just crazy. OK, you got the keys? Don't be getting me lost now. Marlene blamed me on getting lost. It hurt my feelings. I was getting irritated. I didn't want to be blamed. I mean, we've got other things to worry about. We can just go. I don't want you to hold it against me later. Don't be screaming around here. OK, OK. Get out of the car, let's go. We finally get to our hotel, which is also a challenge. And we never found Carl Nehmer. I think Marlene's aggravated with me. If you're here to lift people up, you don't constantly knock them down and tell them what they're doing wrong. I'm going to find Carl tomorrow. Coming up? No, 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 seriously. I'm about to throw up. The team struggle. You didn't tell me that. You're a very difficult lady. Gosh. We're walking around here with nothing. Who will get big? <laughs> and who will go home? You're going to be reviewed on four categories. Creativity. We were really confused by that. Leadership. I think that communication broke down. Presentation and accomplishments. Oprah's Big Give on ABC. Brought to you by Ford. The new 35 highway miles per gallon Focus. Sprint. And Target. Expect more. Pay less. A door is a door is a door, except when it's more of a portal, a portal to doing good. When you go through our doors, 5% of our income goes out and into your communities. That's $3 million a week for education, arts, and social services, which could open a lot of doors for a lot of people. Doing good is easy when doing good is automatic. With Nextel Direct Connect technology, communicate with your workforce in less than a second. It's how nearly 20 million people bring cities to life every day. On the fastest and largest push to get it done now network. Nextel Direct Connect technology, only from Sprint. What do you say? I buy the gas, you buy the food? OK. You know you could have been a wonder. Taking your circus to the sky. You couldn't take it on the Introducing the new 35 miles per gallon Ford Focus. Next time I'm buying the gas. <laughs> now, for a limited time, pay just $169 a month on the new 35 miles per gallon Ford Focus. Next. These seven couples will find out how well they really know the person they just married. How many times a week is the right number of times to have sex? Go. Fifty. Two. In a competition that will put their marriage to the test. Stop! Stop the car! Don't yell at me! And have you say, ah! holy matrimony. Here's a chance to show off your parenting skills. Oh. 
I'm gonna go home and give myself a vasectomy. Here come the newlyweds. Premieres next on ABC. The big give is on. We gave DIN contestants an extraordinary challenge. They've been teamed up to help change the lives of complete strangers in just five days. With the clock ticking, what would you do? Good morning, everyone. We're from The Big Gift. We're sorry for interrupting your breakfast. We're in town to try and make a dream come true. Brandy and Cameron waste no time with their fundraising strategy for Karen Newman's High Hope Center. Sandra just donated $500. Thank you. It's a check for $100. We've made $709 in less than an hour. On a roll, they hit up small businesses in the area. $520. They even got a tip that a local casino wanted in on the action. We understand that you guys were looking for a $2,500 donation. Yeah. We'll just double it and give you five grand. Oh, my that is... God. $5,000. We've got so much. It's great. Good morning, darling. We'll just get some food and, and start planning. Eric's biggest need, he's got a huge college loan to pay off for medical school, over $200,000. He likes Jamie Foxx a lot. Is it possible for us to maybe get in touch with his agent and Absolutely. get... Shag and I really wanted to strategize about a few things for Eric, as far as celebrities are concerned. Who can we wrap our hands around? Right now, Jamie Foxx is just, just in big letters. Kalana, she's very pushy, so I have to make sure that my presence is heard. Kim and Marlene try to overcome yesterday's disappointment by heading out to find a soldier pictured on their clue. Camp Middleton straight ahead. When we finally make it to Staff Sergeant Carl Newman, I was like, thank you, Jesus. This is it. Better late than never. I was ready to get to work and really get a feel of what his needs are. Hi, I'm Marlene. <laughs> in the big I saw my first combat in Iraq during the Battle of in 2004. My first injury was shrapnel that I had to sustain during a firefight. I was awarded three Purple Hearts for the different injuries that I sustained in Iraq. When Carl was in Iraq, I basically thought he wasn't coming back. It was, it was really hard, and I didn't want the kids seeing me cry. To me, Carl is a hero. When he was over there, he gave it his all. All right. Basically, I'm being discharged from the Marines honorably based on my injuries, so now I have to move on to a different career. Our plan that fell through to buy a house. So we're homeless. So we're looking for somewhere to stay. Are you nervous about anything in particular? It's been a rough month, actually, because I'm getting out of the military. It's been 10 years. What I'm mostly concerned of is pretty much failing, failing my family. One thing I know Carl and his family needs is housing. They're depending on us, and I knew I couldn't let them down. I need a phone call back as quickly as possible. Our strategy has been to work the phones. We want to get to the big corporations. We don't know, but we actually have human beings answering. <laughs> right. Gosh. The pressure that Eric and I are feeling right now is almost overwhelming. Since the murder of her husband, AJ can't afford to keep her dream house. We need to raise enough money to not only help pay off the mortgage, but also to keep the kids in the school that they love. I called in a great friend of mine, and we came up with the idea of a fashion show. There's some people standing by that can put on a fashion show. I love the idea of the fashion show, and we use it as a fundraiser to honor Eric. What is your plan for today? There's a lot of pressure here. We can't just simply go out without a plan. What do we have to do today? The models are going to be there, the 20-foot runway, the sign auction. If, if you would please just write them down for me, I'd really appreciate it. I already that. have them down. Well, I didn't know you had already okay. written that down. You didn't uh, tell me that. You're a very difficult lady. Coming up, the pressure is on. How are you going to pull all this off? And the teams pull off their big gear, and the judges make a surprise drop in. They're looking to me like the weakest lot. How realistic is it that they're going to be able to go out and pull this whole thing off? Now Sprint offers unlimited nationwide texting to anyone on any network. So everyone is just an instant away. Your entire family and all your friends. No matter what network they're on. Add it to your family plan for just $20 a month. Unlimited nationwide texting to anyone on any network. Just $20 a month for the whole family. Dreams are very important because um, they are the cornerstone of what we can become. When I was a little girl, the dream that I had was to be a dancer. The dream that I most wanted to achieve was to make impact in the world. 
through my music. And dream big. If you're gonna dream it, why dream small? Even when there are obstacles, make the dream real. When I dream, I dream in color, and I know that it's real. Dare, dream. Do. Monday night, the Queen, Charles, Camilla, William, Harry, you've never seen the royals like this. Come on! One year, extraordinary access, cameras rolling. There's no idea what I get up to. Uh -huh. Barbara Walters, The Royal Family, Monday night at 8, 7 Central. Welcome to Greasy Fried Chicken. May I fool you? We like the extra oily family meal. You can't fake healthy. El Pollo Loco Chicken is citrus marinated and flame grilled. It's healthier and delicious. Get 10 legs and thighs for just $6.99. Hey, Heather, it's Charlie. Uh, had a great time last night. Just wanted to say, and sorry about the sweating. I have an extra sweat gland in, in my left armpit. So that's to re record the... record your message, press 3. Top of the morning to you. Uh, ooh. Gosh, you ate like a horse last night. I shouldn't even say that to a woman. Rebecca, Heather. Um, uh, I have an ex-girlfriend named Heather, actually. I don't know if I told you that last night. <laughs> I probably shouldn't bring that up. Share more with 1,000 whenever minutes, plus unlimited nights and weekends for $39.99. T-Mobile. Stick together. Today's busy and stressful lifestyle too often can lead to an unbalanced digestive system. That's why there's your cult. The delicious probiotic drink that helps maintain the balance of your digestive system. Introducing your cult. Every day for everybody. From Walt Disney Pictures. This Friday comes a trip unlike any other. Surprise! College Road Trip is hilarious. Oh, no. And the first must-see comedy of 2008. We charge hugs in this family. <laughs> College Road Trip. Ready G. Friday. Welcome to Burrito Block. May I fool you? Give me the grilled chicken burrito. We don't really have a grill here. You can't fake taste. El Pollo Loco's new Queso Crunch Burrito. It's cheesy, it's crunchy, it's grilled. Drew Barrymore's worldwide announcement. Monday's Oprah. The 10 contestants are halfway through their challenge of changing a complete stranger's life. Will they be able to pull it off? Carl, I mean, this man has dedicated his life to defending us. And here he is injured in Iraq. He's being medically discharged. What I wanted to do was get enough money together to put something down on a home. I got in touch with my friend and client, John Gamoff in Asheville, Tennessee. He's the vice president of Bridgestone Firestone. Give me an idea of a number. Okay, thanks. Okay, so we've been putting in call after call, and now things are starting to pick up. We have a Ford Taurus. <gasps> a Ford Taurus! Shantae doesn't have the proper transportation. So we have a car lined up for her, but what is she gonna do, sleep in the car? We don't want her on the streets. We want Shantae in a perfectly good home. That's what I'm talking about. With time running out, the judges check on the contestants' progress. Tony visits Cameron and Brandy to hear about their plans for Karen Newman's High Hopes program. We have so many leads now, it's a matter of capitalizing on all of them. We've really pulled out all the stops. Every wish that she wished, we have granted. We just feel like Santa Claus. I was thinking to myself, that is a lot of stuff. How realistic is it that they're going to be able to go out and pull this whole thing off? Crunch time now. Yeah. All right, I'll okay. see you guys. Thank you. Good luck. Angelo and Rachel explained to Malak their strategy to raise cash to get Shantae the housing she desperately needs. I actually live in L.A. Uh -huh. I go to Agape. Agape is a spiritual center in Los Angeles, and they've agreed that we can come in and do a fundraiser for Shantae. So that's happening tonight. We're hopefully going to raise enough money. They are clear in what they want. I'm just not quite sure they know exactly how to get there. Okay. All right. Meanwhile, Jamie finds Shag and Carlana setting up a fashion show to raise wow. money for Eric Jackson. And the idea of the fashion show, how does that integrate with the cause? It's, it's helping to raise money for the cause. We're going to ask people to make donations. All they've got is a half-baked fashion show, and I can't really get the relevance out of that. I think they're actually playing with fire. Marlene and I are frantically calling everyone we can think of to find a home for Carl and his family, and we still don't have a place. Hey, Cindy, this is Kim Prentiss. We have been given the task of finding housing for this gentleman who served our country. I saw your rental property, and it's gorgeous. Is it available if I were to rent it for a couple of months? I have one idea. We got a place. If I was assigned this challenge by myself, I actually would have walked around in the neighborhoods. I'm not a phone person. 
I've gotten the 25000 and I did find them a place to live at Marlene. She doesn't have anything yet, but she's working on it. Steve and Eric are still working the phones to find help for AJ and her daughters. Finally, some good news. Okay, Father Steve, this is fantastic. I am just blown away. Father Steve is going to scholarship these kids. Done. Oh, right He's announced on. it on Friday. So we better get over to the neighborhood, all right? With the scholarship fund started, Eric and Steven now head over to AJ's neighborhood to plan their big give event, a special block party. I know that you've been a very dear friend of AJ. I know you were home when, when this uh, all took place. I was folding laundry in the living room, and I actually saw a breaking news story. And I just kind of went, oh my god, that was Tom. It's OK. What she needs is something to kind of get her through the next step. We're going to have a little street carnival. We want the whole neighborhood here to celebrate. Mm -hmm. So uh, when we're giving this big gift, we have this coming from the neighborhood. Great. Thank you so much. Fantastic. So Angela and I came up with the idea to raise money at the local churches. We're going to make a miracle happen tonight. We're at the Agape Spiritual Center, where we're going to ask for a collection for Shantae's calls. We just want to raise money this evening for a housing fund for Shantae. Let's make this miracle happen. Rachelle started singing, and everyone got on their feet, and I just acted as a cheerleader. I was saying, get up, get up. I release and I let go. Come on, y'all. I let go. They were just giving, passing the baskets around, and from the pulpit, I could see that the baskets were filling up with money. Oh, and I'm only here for God. Yeah. We raised fourteen thousand dollars ninety-two cents in fifteen minutes. Yes. Thank you. Coming up, it's time for the big reveals. 50,000. <laughs> will dreams come true today? Who will give big? Who will go home? Strategy, not good. Emotion, not good. The judges have made their decision. Ford Fusion. No matter who you are behind the wheel, the Fusion can handle it. Now, for a limited time, lease a Ford Fusion I-4 for just $189 a month. With Nextel Direct Connect technology, communicate with your workforce in less than a second. It's how nearly 20 million people bring cities to life every day. On the fastest and largest Push to get it done now, network. Nextel Direct Connect technology. Only from Sprint. An all new Lost, Thursday at 9, 8 central on ABC. When I was a student here, I wasn't exactly what you would call popular. Just because you weren't cool in high school, I just felt so sorry for her. And I thought she would probably put out. Doesn't mean you'll never work there. Fitting in isn't always the answer. Just really? Can I touch your boob? No, sweetie. From the irreverent mind of Ashton Kutcher. You're upset about the high teacher ranking. Those rankings are meaningless to me. Number 40? Misguided premieres Thursday, March 20th on ABC. Five days are up. It's time for each team's big reveal. How will they surprise the people they've been assigned to help? What would you do? This is it, everything we've worked hard to do. It's reveal day, and in just a couple hours, we're gonna be surprising Karen with everything we've worked so hard to get. $100 check, $100 check, $100 check, $1,000 check. That's a total of $1,710. Over here, I've got a total of $890. Yes, yes, yes. It's the check for Carl and uh, I feel like a weight has been lifted. I mean, it's. I feel like the rest of the day, there's nothing that can really screw it up too poorly. I mean, well, I better not say that yet, so. Hey, what's up? Steven and Eric are starting their day by surprising the Egan girls with a shopping spree. You guys get to run through the store and pick as many toys as you want. Yeah! Oh, wow. All right, 
AJ thinks this may be the big give, and if the truth is, it's just the start. The surprise lock party Eric and I had been planning for five days was about to begin. It was so impressive how AJ's neighbors and friends wanted to be part of this and wanted to make this block party something AJ will never forget. This is going to be amazing. I think we're going to have a huge turnout tonight. And we know that when AJ pulls up her car, it's just going to lift her spirits. We turned the corner, drove up on our street, and there was like 300 people standing in front of my house. It was amazing that that many people were supporting me. and there was blown up pictures of Tom and I and the girls. It meant a lot to me. And I knew that this day was to celebrate Tom. And the point where we began. Thank you all so much for coming out. This is such an incredible turnout to celebrate the Egans and help them through this time of trouble. Father Steve, today, what we want to announce is that we have committed as a parish community of St. Edward to seed a scholarship, eight years of Catholic education at our parish school. One of the biggest surprises was my girls' education, not have to worry about where they have to go. Pepsi put forth $10,000 for these kids so they can go to college. In the last five days, we've raised $50,000 so if AJ start to pay off the mortgage. Even more help came from anonymous donors. It was just amazing. The total value of all of these gifts is over $100,000. It's overwhelming. We'd like to thank everybody for showing your support and your love for this incredible woman, AJ, and the two beautiful little girls, but also to honor the spirit of an amazing guy an amazing dad by the name of Tom Egan. Come here, you, you gotta get up here, don't you? AJ has probably had the most difficult time of her life since her husband passed away. She spends all of her days worrying about bills, worrying about how she's gonna pay her mortgage, and worrying about her two kids. And now she's got all of these things being donated. It was one of the most magnificent experiences I ever had. AJ, everybody here loves you, we love you. Thank you so much for letting us be part of your life. Be that guy that can walk in a situation and say, hey, look, let's fix this. That is an indescribable feeling. Eric came up with this great idea to have these giant balloons that will have the girls write notes to their father. Would you guys want to write a little note to send up to your dad? These big balloons will carry him all the way to heaven. Is that OK? What do you want to tell daddy? I love you. I love you. OK. Good job. To watch AJ stand there and literally take, I, it must have been five or 10 minutes where she's writing this note to her husband in tears. It, it, it's, it was a wonderful thing, but it was also a heartbreaking thing. Everything is coming together. I mean, we are making this miracle happen. People came through for Shantae. She is going to be surprised. Shantae, come on in. Follow me. I walked through the doors and there were like so many people there. It felt really good to know that I was really somebody instead of this invisible person that I felt that I've been since I've been in this 
homeless situation. We're here today um, to change a person's life. So, Shantae, they brought me here so that I could be your personal money coach. The first presentation I like to make is on behalf of my rich uncle. $20,000 in scholarships so that when they're ready to go to school, they'll have some funds available to do that. We know that you've been living at a place called home and that your dream is ultimately to have a place of your own. So with that said, here is a check for $50,000. And before we go, we have one more thing for you. So if everyone can meet us outside. Got a package full of wishes. So Shantae, we have for you a car. I'm pleased, I'm excited, I'm thrilled, I'm satisfied, and I will be able to sleep tonight. Be careful what you wish for. History starts now. Thank everybody for everything, for everything. Because when I went to the, into this, I didn't, wasn't expecting anything. I didn't even care. I was like, just get me trained and I can get me a job. I know I can do it. You guys will be looking at me in a few years like, oh, that's Miss McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> How fitting. We did this event at a place called home, and now Shantae has a place called home. Start now. That's the big give. Coming up, three teams still have to reveal their big give. Five minutes out, Brandy. Five minutes? How will they surprise the people they've been assigned to help? Will they come through? Later, who will go home? You said Carolina was very hard to work with. I did not see the partnership that I hoped for. You better be on the same page with the people around you. It's the hottest crossover in America. It's the Ford Edge. And now it comes with the Sun and Sink lease that's just $279 a month. You get the amazing Vista roof, biggest sunroof in its class, luxurious leather seating, the convenient power lift gate, and you get Sync powered by Microsoft, the remarkable voice activated phone and entertainment system. All this for only $279 a month. The Edge Sun and Sink lease, a very hot reason to visit your California Ford dealer. Hearing next, a new competition will put these newlyweds to the test. Go to the grocery store for your wife. What comes out of a cow? Cheese. No, what comes out of a cow? Steak. Here come the newlyweds, the series premiere next on ABC. tobacco industry designed cigarettes to be addictive. How long will you let them control you? Try Subway Restaurants tonight. Come in after 4 p.m., get dinner for two for only $8.99. Your choice of two regular six-inch subs, two bags of chips, two 21-ounce drinks. Dinner for two, $8.99. Tonight, Subway, eat fresh. Critics are raving. Miss Pettigrew is a blissfully entertaining comedy with a lot of heart. Francis McDormand is terrific. Miss Pettigrew. <laughs> and Amy Adams is irresistible. I know, but I can't help it. Miss Pettigrew lives for a day. Rated PG-13.
It's reveal day. I am so excited. Carl's number one concern was a long-term home for him and his family. He's a wounded war hero. I mean, three purple hearts, and he has nowhere to go after being discharged. So today, we're gonna show Carl Newman and his family their new place they're gonna be living. To know that two um, strangers wanted to help us out, it's really nice, and you know that American people care about people who serve their country. This is where you're going to be staying. When we got to the beach house, they showed us around. It was overwhelming. It's something we never would have been able to do, and it's like awesome, and it's beautiful. We're gonna take care of your rent and your utilities and everything here, and we've gone ahead and paid that for the first month, but there's a gentleman that wants to talk to you about your future plans, too. Hi, Carla and Alexis, how are you? Hi, how are good. You? On behalf of Bridgestone Firestone, I want to let you know that Kim will be handing you a check for $25,000 to help you out with your housing expenses so that you, Alexis, can stay home with Carl to make sure that he gets well and recovers properly. And I want to thank you for everything you've done for our country, Carl, for the service you've given to your country, and just good luck to you and your family. Here comes the rest of our lives. What are you feeling now? Like a hundred pounds off my bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 Never said that before. Thank yes. you. I feel like my entire life has been about what's best for me, taking care of me. To know that instead of getting, that I, I'm giving and making somebody else's life better, it makes me not want to take my own for granted. There are people out there that are struggling, and that it just takes one person to make a big difference in their lives. <laughs> <laughs> the most meaningful gift that we received had to be the money for the house. I mean, that's huge. It was very emotional. Here comes the rest of our lives. Be careful. Finally! This is, this is Finally. what it's been all about. Okay. It's good. Oh, my God! This moment to make it all last. Are you excited? Give me a hug. The best part of this whole experience has yet to come. I think it's going to happen when we present all of the surprises to Karen and to see her reaction. The whole community came together and showed up to show Karen that they support her and love her and they were willing to give her what she needs. If you just believe. speechless. It was just unbelievable. It's hard for me to accept that people would be giving me things I'd rather give to them. First, we'd like to begin by thanking all of you for coming out today to show your support for Karen. We knew you needed musical instruments. If you turn around, there's more than $5,300 worth of brand new musical instruments. Karen, you are very blessed to be in this community. Everyone said yes when we asked them if they wanted to help you and your goal and your wish. Cash and check donations from just everyday people that we met. Go ahead. $1,710, $890, $580. The Chandra Casino Resort wanted to present high up for $5,000. We have the two million citizens of the Riverside County Board uh, of Supervisors. Oh Karen, your main dream was to have a facility that could hold high hopes meetings. We have a room that will hold up to 1,000 people, and they have given that to you for up to six years. You will be in that building. Oh All of those prizes combined is over $43,000. They give is something that I hold dear to my heart. I will forever be indebted to this experience right here. Because of Brandy and Cameron and all of the people involved, that's what makes life so priceless. I just love it. Hi, 
It's review day, and we've set up this fashion show, and I really hope we can get enough donations to help pay for Eric Jackson's medical school loans. I think stakes are really high today. <laughs> Look at you! Yeah, man. Looking good. The one and one amazing individual by the name of Eric Jackson. Yeah! Fashion show is going to serve Eric because we're going to be asking for donations. All proceeds will go to Eric. How about those gorgeous girls? And how about filling up those empty purses? How about giving big? That's what it's all about, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So we got on stage and we told everyone in the audience to donate money, fill up the purses. But we didn't get anything. I think that was a bad idea. I was really disappointed at the response of the crowd. Um, I want to introduce one more guest, Mr. Silk Kozar. Silk is a pretty well-established actor. He plays basketball with Justin Timberlake and Jamie Foxx. He used all of his contacts to help us work on giving big to Eric Jackson. Jamie Foxx just gave $50,000. so much. We are the Big Give, honoring Eric Jackson! When our Big Give continues, who stays? You spoke beautifully. I had tears in my eyes. And who goes home? You guys could have done a better job. Strategy, not good. Emotion, not good. The judge's decision is next. The series premiere of Here Come the Newlyweds, ABC Next. The 2008 Ford Fusion. No matter who you are behind the wheel, the Fusion can handle it. Now, for a limited time, lease a Ford Fusion i4 for just $189 a month. Now, Sprint offers unlimited nationwide texting to anyone on any network. So everyone is just an instant away. Your entire family and all your friends. No matter what network they're on. Add it to your family plan for just $20 a month. Unlimited nationwide texting to anyone on any network. Just $20 a month for the whole family. You say yes, I say no. You say stop, I say go. You say goodbye, and I say hello, hello, hello. You don't know why you say goodbye, I say hello. Next, a new series with seven wildly different newlywed couples. You have an arranged marriage. Yes. But it's not like I gave her family 20 goats. <laughs> and we're about to put their marriages to the test. Good Lord. What celebrity would you most like to have dinner with? Jesus. Oprah. Oprah. In a competition that asks, how well do you really know the person you just married? Mark parts of her body that your wives would change about themselves. You wanted a bigger bottom. He put that right on there. Thunder <laughs> Fantastic. If love is blind. Straight heart. Straight heart? No, marriage is an eye opener. <laughs> Here come the newlyweds. The series premiere next on ABC. Premier event starts Monday, March 17th on ABC. The search for a man who sexually assaulted a girl near a school at 11. Congratulations to all 10 of you, and welcome to the Big Give headquarters, where every week you're going to face Jamie, Malak, and Tony. In your first mission, you were given a picture, a name, a partner, 
and one clue. Your challenge? To change the life of a complete stranger. Our Big Give team has seen you in action, and you're going to be reviewed on four categories. Creativity, leadership, presentation, and accomplishments. And just because you guys worked in teams on this challenge doesn't mean that your entire team is going home. Tonight, you are being judged on your own. Who stays, who goes? I know the judges have some questions. Jamie, have at it. Well, uh, on behalf of me and the judges, uh, amazing first week. Absolutely. Uh, great challenges. Uh, touched us, emotional. But our job is a tough one. We need to find some flaws in, you know, maybe how you could have improved on what you did. Shag and Carlana. I found your story interesting because I think you missed some of the angles that I would have gone on. I felt the fashion show was vague, it was random. We were really, really confused by that. Our intention was to honor who Eric was. What did a fashion show have yeah, to do with that? You're celebrating him being a surgeon. Carlana, whose idea was the fashion show? I believe you, you, you came you up with the idea of the Whose idea the fashion show was? Just, the final we, we weighed, we the weighed. The final decision for the fashion show was more or less desperation. Look, this is very hard to judge you in being good. Sure. But uh, strategy, not good. Emotion, not good. Nothing hands-on. I commend you on the money that you did raise. And any amount that can go towards eradicating that debt is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Shag, grow some balls, brother. Speak for yourself. You're intelligent. you got an MBE or MBA or whatever. You, you, you've got it, man. Uh, sweet Pete, you got to listen to other people from the team. Just look a bit behind you every now and again, because you're always going to be in the front. You're that kind of character. Stephen. I think you boys were brilliant. You know, it was emotional. You spoke beautifully to the neighborhood. And the note in the balloons. Eric came up with that brilliant idea. Well done. Brilliant. Steven, I absolutely loved how you pulled the community together. You could see it. You could feel it. The biggest thing to me is getting connected with the families. How you got connected with the girls, I love that. And all you guys in the future, keep doing that, always, because that's really what it's all about. The young ones. Cameron and Brandy. How much money did you guys raise all together? The entire value of everything was right over 43000 Could you have done better? Could you have raised more money? Could you have got something more substantial? I think you could next time round, and I want to bring that up because I want you to be better givers. This wasn't about the monetary donations, and our number is not $43,000. We made a difference in Karen's life. Absolutely, there's always room for improvement, but when it comes down to it, mm -hmm. we gave things that are going to keep on giving. Cameron and Brandy, you guys were creative. Uh, the presentation was there. One of my favorite mottos is service is the rent you pay for living. You paid your rent. It was great. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Wow. Marlene and Kim. Yeah. First stop should have been extorted by a GPS system to put yeah. in the car. <laughs> that would be four and dollars well spent. Exactly. I'm pretty big on teamwork. No matter what you do in life, you better be on the same page with the people around you. And I think that communication right. broke down between you. What do you felt that you that you brought? You know brought what to the I table? felt that I brought to the table? Encouragement. So when my contacts fell through, I was like, you know what? Let me encourage her. The thing is, Marlene, you didn't actually get anything specific for Carl. Cash is important in the big gift, but I think heart, soul, presentations. Well, the Marines, the Marines would have done something. I did not quite see the partnership that I had hoped for. Kim, it seems like all the contacts were really yours. Marlene, we didn't see enough input um, from you. Last but not least, Rachel and Angelo. The presentation, outstanding. I, I had tears in my eyes. What I was really, really impressed with was this is really a gift that's going to continue to give. And uh, it took a lot of thought, and I commend you. Thank you. Well, uh, what can I say? You got it in a nutshell. You know what I liked about you guys is you got your hand dirty. You got out there on a stage in front of all those people. Brilliant. I love that. Good job. Yeah, all right, you guys, time is up. Tony, Malak, Jamie, they're going to deliberate in private. Obviously, anybody would be nervous about Elimination Day. Now that I've gotten a taste of what this feels like, I want to stay. Bring it on. I really don't believe there's a chance I'm going to go home tonight. I don't think there's anything more I can be on this competition. I'm giving it 100%. The judges have made their decision. Each one of these envelopes has your name on it. Inside is a plane ticket or nothing. And an empty envelope means you're going home. OK, Cameron. Congratulations. Rachel. Eric. 
Randy. Great. Angelo, you're next. Yes. Check. Steven. There's two of you left. Go ahead and open your envelopes together. Marlene and Carlano. I'm gonna learn something from that first experience. We said in the beginning, you either have to give big or you go home. And Marlene, you're going home. I wish I could've done more for Carl. I want to prove that anybody can make a difference in someone's life. Why did Marlene go? Well, she was lovely. She was sweet, supportive, energetic. But in the end, she didn't even get one give. So she had to go. This season on The Big Give. Across America, people are in for the shock of their lives. Hundreds of thousands of dollars will be given away. Who gets all that money? It might just be you. No! Big dreams come true. Hey, Mike, how about a brand new truck? The total, $293,000. I think total shot. Turn around. Twists and turns. Hi, Steven. Oprah. That will have everyone talking. $75,000. Oh, my God, it's John Travolta. Get it for Aniston. Can I? Yeah, go ahead. Stakes are high. Judges are not going to be impressed. I cannot let this family down. Man, I'm in panic mode. I want to talk now. It's okay. It's not, it's not okay. okay. That's wet. I'm done. I'm out of here. Plus, the final secret none of our contestants know. I'm going to hand the winner $1 million. Yes! I love this show! He will win it all. Biggest giver is... Don't miss one moment of our big gift.